Hey everyone, so I just wanted to talk about acne. Um, it may not look like it, but I have suffered through acne pretty much my whole entire life. Um, ever since I was 11, the second I hit puberty, I had acne. On my face, it wasn't as bad, um, but definitely I had it on my back and it was absolutely terrible. Since I work um, by applying makeup, that's what I do, I interact a lot with people's faces and I get to see pretty much everyone's skin problems and you know I always want to share my story and the things that I've learned over the years since I am now 25. So I've had um, a lot of learning to do in um, terms of acne and every time that I bring it up um, everyone barely believes me because it doesn't look like I've suffered through it. I do have some scars. Um, when you've had it for as long as I have, it's going to leave marks. Um, I'm sure you can't really see, but in probably my other videos you see mostly on the sides of my face. It could be chick marks, it could be acne. Um, I have a lot of scars. Um, my How I got rid of it was a long... How I got rid of it was a really long road. Um, I started seeing dermatologists probably when I was around 12, um, probably even younger, and um, I've tried everything they did. First they start off you with topical treatments, the ointments and um, creams, and then um, I started doing chemical peels, I did microdermabrasion, um, I did everything, even over-the-counter products, I tried to do things on products at home. Uh, I did everything just to try to get rid of my acne and nothing worked. I even did antibiotics. I went on the pill just to calm down this acne. Um, what I had on my face was just my forehead. I had a lot of bumps. My entire forehead was just like white bumps. It was just very, very bumpy. I didn't have too much on my cheeks and then I would get the occasional breakout on my chin. My back was just cystic. It was huge and red and painful. Um, that was probably my biggest concern was my back. Um, yes, so nothing worked for me. Everything was temporary and I didn't really understand why. Why nothing worked for me and why did proactive work for these people who had such terrible acne and it didn't work for me. Um, I wouldn't say that it kind of, it affected my social skills or it didn't really affect me as personally. I did hate having acne, um, especially when all my friends had the smoothest, prettiest skin ever and I never did. Um, other than that, I would say, you know, I am glad it was something that I had to go through. I think we all have something that we need to suffer through and that just happened to be mine. Um, it was only a couple years ago that I actually officially got rid of my acne. Um, I was 23 and I decided to finally go on Accutane. Um, I had been, I heard about it for years, but the dermatologist that I was seeing at the time would not let me get on it for any, I think he was just very conservative. Um, but he just would not uh, prescribe it for me. And it is a very serious drug. There are a lot of side effects, and especially for women, you have to be on birth control, you have to, or abstain from sex, and you have to, every single month, get your blood drawn to check your liver, um, and making sure that your body is reacting okay. So, but, since it had been so long, it had been over what, 12 years at that point that I had been suffering through it and I've exhausted every other um, method. So I decided this was it and I had to try it. And within the first month it was gone, completely gone. And the only thing was is that I did react badly to the drug. I was, for some reason, well, you definitely get dry everywhere. Your mouth is just, and your lips are so chapped. I had to carry Vaseline, like a tub 
a Vaseline around with me just so that I can um, be healed. Yeah. It was very um, strong. Um, then after a while, I can only do about four or five months. I think you're supposed to do six. Um, around month four, my body started seizing up for some reason. Like I just felt my muscles were very stiff. And after that, and then I got really, really sick and I just stopped it. I couldn't take it anymore and I couldn't get my blood drawn again. I've had the worst experience with getting my blood drawn, but um, after that I decided to just, you know, let it be. I couldn't take it anymore and um, just wanted to see what my skin looked like and, and it hasn't come back pretty much. Uh, every now and then I would get kind of a breakout and because I had worn or used medicines for so long I had the habit of continuing using them. I used from Murad their, I forgot what it was called, but it was their, probably their salicylic, salicylic acid um, treatment. And I would put that on my face and back every single night. And I didn't really see an improvement. It didn't really help that much. So I tried um, to see what I could do that would be more natural, that would keep it at bay. And so I've tried a, a bunch of different things. The very first thing I did was add tea tree oil to my gentle cleanser and that definitely helped kill any bacteria and keep my skin calm. Um, I've heard I guess it was it's strong but for me it wasn't. I just put a couple drops in and just um, washed it all over my face and my back and that helped for a little bit. Um, but it, it wasn't something that I really wanted to do. I didn't like the smell and it's just, I'm very sensitive to smell. So I decided to try something different and that's kind of how I came across my kind of skincare routine that I have today. This is what has been working for me. Um, definitely I would say Accutane was the reason why my, ac my acne went away for good. Definitely if you have very persistent and cystic acne, I would say try the creams first, but if they don't work or the antibiotics, go for Accutane because it's the only thing that will keep it away for good. Um, I do want to show my back, I guess, mm -hmm. just to share. I don't know if you can see. But you can kind of see I still have some red, let's see. Oh, some red dots every now and then. So that's kind of my my still struggle. I'm still struggling with it in my back for some reason, but um, I will show you what I've been doing to keep it from being, it's nothing like, like it used to be. I used to have huge, like, and I mean huge, um, bumps. They were never white. They were always red bumps, and it was just very painful. So it's nothing like it used to be, so I'm very grateful for that. And these are kind of the things that I do now to keep it at bay. So at first, in the morning, I always wash my face. Um, I've heard people say that you shouldn't wash your face. I can't start my day without washing my face. So for me, this is something that I always have to do. So the very first thing I wash my face with that I have been using has been the Burt's Bees Acne Solution. Sorry, I'm still used to holding my finger up straight. It's getting better, so um, I'm being gentle. But it's the Burt's Burt's Bees Acne Solutions. It has salicylic acid and it has um, willow bark, which is supposed to help with clearing acne. It only has 1%, so it's still, um, it's not the full amount, which I think is 2%, so it's a little bit more gentle. And this is what I use every morning. So after um, I wash my face in the morning, I would put on moisturizer, of course. And the moisturizers that I use um, that have not made me break out have been the CeraVe. This is one of my favorites. It has um, SPF of 30. It's really, really gentle. Um, it really doesn't irritate my skin. It does provide a nice moisture. And this has been the best so far. It's my second bottle, so I've been loving it. The other one that I have been recently loving, which I don't have, I ran out of my sample, has been, um, this is the brand Derma. Dermalogica. This brand, the Active Moist, has been amazing. It hasn't made me break out at all, and it's just, it's for when I need a little extra moisture. Because um, I guess sometimes I get dry skin, 
and especially in the cheek area I like to have a little bit more moisture so that's the brand that I would use um, instead of this one in the morning so it kind of depends on how my skin is that day and then at night it depends but I usually uh, and this has been recent I've been using Bosia, Bosia. Um, this one is the detoxifying black cleanser I have just noticed my skin just seems so much brighter and I haven't broken out from using this at all it is just a regular cleanser I like to use um, a more gentle cleanser at night just because I want to really wash everything off and so I've been using this one it has been amazing so far um, for my back I've been using body clear the body wash this has definitely been helping this one has um, the full amount of Sally Silic Acid 2% and obviously you see I'm almost done but this is what I've been using to help with my back which has been uh, it's been giving me some trouble um, I also use sometimes in the shower every every like other day or so I will use I like this one the Dermalogica um, the skin prep scrub this is really really gentle and it really scrubs off any of those dead skins that you might get. Um, I get a lot of it. It's not fun, but this one gets it really well. The other one I love is the by um, Murad. It's the pink one. I think it's their purifying or something scrub. That pink one is amazing too. Very gentle and that one you can use it uh, again maybe three times a week at most. But this is the one that I have now. So once I'm done with my showers, and this is what I do at night, and this is what has been probably the biggest turnaround product for me um, that's been the most natural thing and gentle that has really helped clear my acne I don't know why but it does it's jojoba oil and this one is um, the organic one I found this one at Whole Foods I believe and this just has been my life saver this has replaced acne medicine for sure um, whenever I notice that I'm going to break out, I'll have a bump, like I have one here. It's teeny tiny, but I can feel it. Um, I put this on. Whenever I feel like my skin just doesn't feel right, like I feel like something's going to break out, I will dot just a little bit, like one or two drops. I will put this all over my face. And the very next day, it will be reduced. This is like a miracle oil. I know it feels weird to kind of put oil on your face when you're breaking out, but believe me, this works. This is what I've been using, especially for my lower back. I've been getting a lot of bumps. Um, the second I put this on at night, the very next day, the bumps are gone, and all they are are just red marks. The bumps, like, it literally disappears. I don't know if it kills the acne or kills the bacteria. It's just really, it really has changed my skin in terms of acne like this has been the best product for that so if I would say for one thing that you would have to try if you have acne is this just try it put it on your blemish and see what happens um, I find that astringents for me don't really work too well um, I haven't really tried it enough to to tell you if it does but I have tried this I mean, obviously you can see I'm almost done, and this has been the best thing ever for my skin. Um, so definitely get this, and it's, it smells really good too. I really like it. So it's not going to be overpowering, it's definitely not harsh, and it's going to get rid of those big bumps that you have, for sure. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I do, and that is how I have kept my skin the way that it is. If I find an old picture, hopefully I'll... Um, show you what it used to, my skin used to be so we can compare it to what it is now um, but that has been this is my skincare routine now that has kept acne at bay I really really hope that this helps you guys because believe me I know what it's like to have acne and to have it just not always ruin your day but just to be kind of like a, a weight on your shoulders you know I, I've been there and I've done that for more than half of my life and now that it's gone I do truly believe that you know that how much it has affected me so I really really hope that this helps you guys if you have any questions or want to hear something else from me just let me know I would love to answer them
thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.